you're looking at a live image of a rescue underway here on Interstate 5. Now, this is part of what's being called the Gorman incident. Now, this is an incident that is involving possibly 50 or more vehicles here on southbound Interstate 5 in Gorman. Now, this crash has occurred over the last couple of hours, but has piled up and piled up and piled up. But what you're seeing on your screen is a rescue of a horse trapped in a trailer. This trailer rear-ended as part of this multi-vehicle collision. But they're labeling this as a multi-casualty incident, which simply means that's really describing the type of response that they're giving this. But this crash occurring in some heavy, heavy fog here in the Gorman area as people are climbing up and over the grapevine. Now I can tell you southbound Interstate 5, all lanes of southbound Interstate 5 are shut down at Fraser Mountain Road. We were just up there a little while ago and I can tell you it is a madhouse up there in Lebec but also a madhouse down south in Gorman. So you really have two communities really impacted by this and a lot of motorists who are unable to move through the area. But earlier we did hear of a few critical patients, one involving a 21 month old child, that child flown to Northridge Trauma Center by one of the Los Angeles County Fire Department's air operations copters, that copter landing, that's copter 17 landing at Northridge Hospital transporting that child, but I'm telling you, Upwards of 22 patients signing themselves AMA. What that means is against medical advice. They were basically injured in the crash but did not want treatment. So quite simply put, they refused treatment. So firefighters turning their attention to the other motorists. But I can tell you, initially there were only two units here on scene, one from LA County and one from Kern County. So Kern County on the north end, LA County on the south end, LA County Fire Station 77 here with their engine and patrol and Kern County with one of their medic engines initially responding to this crash. But upwards of 50 or plus vehicles, what was initially being reported as 30 vehicles quickly climbed as more vehicles crashed into each other from what we heard at the scene. But I can tell you this scene stretches both wide and long, wide in the sense of all lanes of Interstate 5 southbound, but of course long in the sense of about a half mile to three quarters of a mile of vehicles that were smashed. We've been seeing tow truck companies making their way through the area, trying to pull every vehicle they could out of this wreckage as we focus our attention on this horse rescue, this being one of many vehicles hit and trapped here on Interstate 5 southbound, just north of Gorman and just south of Lebec. So just south of the Kern County, Los Angeles County line. But you're seeing a three county response here today, both from LA County and Kern County, but also Ventura County, really kind of at a boundary between all three counties. This crash really requiring response from everyone that they can get their hands on. We've been seeing LA County search and rescue teams from the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff Station, typical SCV patrol deputies coming up here, as well as some of the parks units, Ventura County Sheriff's, Kern County Sheriff's, California Highway Patrol, the California State Parks Police, and multiple ambulance companies from Hall Ambulance Service to the American Medical Response and a few others. But I'm telling you, a lot of these vehicles we're seeing here, this looks like a war zone. So many people trying to respond to this crash, but not enough resources. And I can tell you, aside from a few Kern County and a few LA County resources, the next additional resources were at least 30 to 45 minutes away. The nearest helicopter, 22 minutes away. And that's from the initial start of this incident as it unfolded. The California Highway Patrol from the Fort Tejon Station joining with other units from Bakersfield here trying to basically gain control of this crash. You're seeing a few of the CHP units making their way into the scene, but the scene really being guarded by multiple police agencies and multiple fire agencies. So you're seeing some sheriff's deputies trying to help free this horse, joining their counterparts, and that's Quint 104 passing by out of Station 150 in Canyon Country. And that really tells you just how far some of these units have to come. But right now you're seeing on your screen firefighters from LA County and Kern County working to try to free this horse, as well as sheriff's deputies, California Highway Patrol officers and Ventura County sheriff's deputies all working together, trying to muscle the metal back as much as they can using some of the tools from Quint 126 and Quint 104 to try to muscle back some of that metal. And you can see the sun really starting to shine finally. That visibility level here at the scene dropping to about 100 feet and initially being reported as five feet and as i came up here i can tell you that visibility down to zero you could not see what was in front of you so imagine you have a full freeway flowing downhill down from lebec into gorman from the kern county line into la county and you have that dense fog you have vehicles stopping slowing 
speeding up, trying to get around each other, bobbing and weaving past stop vehicles. And it really a chain reaction occurred. And that's exactly what happened here from what we heard. So I'm gonna show you around the scene for just a second. This is the northernmost part of the scene. There are a few vehicles that are off an embankment, but those people okay climbing out of their cars. But I wanna show you just how badly some of these vehicles were damaged as a result of this crash as we pull out for just a second. This vehicle right here on top of a tow truck, that shows you just how violent the impact of this crash was and just how many vehicles involved. So you take that, multiply it times about 10 to 15 with some of the vehicles on the southern or northern end of this crash, the very back end of the incident, receiving some of the uh, mo most minor damages, most minor injuries, but some of the vehicles on the very front of this crash, the southernmost end of the Gorman incident, did receive the most critical injuries and the most major damage as they were hit multiple times by multiple vehicles and eventually toward the end of the wreckage vehicles did stop and were able to see up ahead but i can tell you that fog playing a very very key role in the investigation of this crash this crash will be investigated by the california highway patrol their traffic services division and they're gonna be working to look at this but i can tell you patient wise upwards of 30 patients involved in this i'm going to show you another vehicle that's rolling by and just show you the damage from that vehicle. And we're seeing vehicles stopping in the middle of the roadway here where we are to get a look and really not a very safe thing to do. But you can see some of these vehicles rolling out on a dozen or so tow trucks. You can just see how badly damaged they were as a result of this crash. This was a Kia Soul involved in the incident out of the middle part of the incident. But I wanna show you something else just up ahead. And this gives you an indication as to really how bad this crash was. This is one of the vehicles that was on fire initially. And that's one thing we should mention is that initially engine 77 was reporting at least one vehicle on fire as a result of this crash. And you're gonna see that vehicle we were just looking at coming up ahead. This is one of those vehicles that was on fire and some of their occupants transported to the hospital. But that kind of gives you somewhat of an indication as to the violent force involved in this wreck and right now we're seeing some of the fog coming back down toward us again so that ceiling starting to drop down on us and that was one of the things that the copters were initially worried about from the get-go was that they would be able to fly in at least and initially they were really worried about coming in and being able to respond to the crash but they got in just under the ceiling but as they were here on scene copter 15 and 17 both saying you know what the ceiling is dropping on us what can we do with the time that we have right now? Because minutes are left before they're not able to leave. But they're able to fly that toddler out of the area to Northridge Trauma Center, that 21 month old child being treated as a, critical, a critically injured patient, one of at least two involved in this wreckage as we turn our attention back to this horse rescue that's involved here. But what we're hearing is that this horse being tended to also by a veterinarian and they're very worried about the horse's well-being from what we've heard here at the scene from some of the officials giving us a little bit of information. But I can tell you this scene stretching both wide and long and all lanes being closed, but some traffic trickling through on the side shoulder. They're trying to get about 100 vehicles that are stuck behind this all off the freeway and they're trying to free up that end of the freeway so they can allow first responders to enter and exit going both the right way and the wrong way but what a scene what an absolute scene this all taking place once again north of gorman and just south of lebec lebec being in kern county gorman being in la county and both of them really meeting each other at the la county kern county boundary but i can tell you these first responders have been working feverishly over the last several hours to try to help these people but not only these people but this horse you can see one of these trucks trying to get by by squeezing on what little side shoulder there is here and squeezing in between. These vehicles, I can tell you, are weaving in between multiple heavily damaged vehicles that are basically disabled. And this, these disabled vehicles came to a crash into an embankment and they're weaving in between these vehicles, really tiptoeing around them, so to speak, as they try to head south into Castaic, really closer to Gorman. But I can tell you, Gorman packed. Lebec packed. Five freeway southbound shut down at Fraser Mountain Road. And just multiple people coming here from 
our search and rescue team in Santa Clarita. We did hear Tony Butita on the horn coming up here. He's part of the search and rescue team and all of them trying to respond to really just lend a hand because there weren't very many emergency services up here. I'm telling you, this is an area that's very sparsely uh, populated and you have two fire stations, one on the Kern County side and one on the LA County side. That's fire station 77 on the LA County Fire Department side and that's it. The nearest fire station after that is going to be fire station 149 in Castaic and after that 143, 76 and then you're really in the city of Santa Clarita at that point and so it really becomes a very much uh, you know time just ticking as emergency crews make their way as fast as they can up the freeway and at that point you have to get to the other side of the freeway then you have traffic backed up for miles how do you get your first responders to the other side and those are some of the questions that they were asking themselves today as they were trying to you know some of them trying to hop over a barrier carry their tools over the barrier all while trying not to be hit by traffic flowing northbound toward the other side of the grapevine and it's just a very chaotic scene indeed at first but right now it's becoming more static as time goes by and we're trying to adjust our image here so bear with me for just a second We're really just adjusting for fog right now. That fog level is dropping ever so closely toward us. The sun peeking out, reflecting off of some of those clouds. So the image itself becomes very overexposed very quickly. So we're trying to kind of dial that back as you can see this horse rescue taking place. But we're seeing more first responders really backing away from the scene. We're seeing one of the animal care and control officers here trying to help out, but also seeing a veterinarian here trying to help make uh, this horse a little more comfortable as they try to work to pull the horse. They're, they're working to pull the horse out of a hole. Uh, the back of the trailer is completely smashed in and they've worked to cut a hole in the trailer around the bottom of the horse, but that horse laying on its side as they work to all muscle their energy to try to pull the horse out. But I want to show you the amount of people standing on the freeway trying to you know, watch as this effort is underway. And it really shows you just how many people are here and really all of them in awe as they work to try to free this trapped horse you can see as we widen out that line of people firefighters uh, tow truck operators california highway patrol officers you know law enforcement officers and, st and bystanders who are basically just trapped on the freeway unable to go anywhere all of them you know we're seeing a lot of people clutching their mouths and just you know people turning around and just can't you know take what they're seeing but you're seeing just off to the right, some of those people working to muscle all of their efforts to get that horse out. And I can tell you it is a very sad scene. There goes the horse. The horse is free from the trailer. And we're hearing some applause erupting from the side of the freeway as that horse is walked out. And you know, what an amazing sight. I can tell you, you know, getting choked up here myself, you know, it was very grim indeed for that horse. What we were hearing on the radio is that they were not they were all hopeful, but really not expecting that horse to make it out of this. But, you know, seeing that horse being able to walk under its own power, you know, really gets you choked up as these people try to, you know, I'm telling you, these people, all of them trying to muscle for themselves, you know, manpower, all of them, you know, deputies, officers, firefighters, tow truck operators, all of them pulling on a rope to try to get this horse free. And you can see that that horse now standing on the side of the freeway and I can see tell you there are some smiles for the first time in hours on the side of Interstate 5 right now here in Gorman and a rainbow I can tell you a rainbow breaking out over the freeway you know absolutely incredible moments unfolding before us I'm going to show you that rainbow and try and get a shot of it for you but there is a rainbow and there was a rainbow for just a second as the fog dips back that rainbow disappearing very quickly but that horse came out in a rainbow opened out over the freeway and really just some you know some moments here that for these people on the freeway that have been dealing with this wreckage and you know these critically injured patients and you can see they're carrying parts to vehicles still on the freeway you know dealing with that and seeing this horse being able to be freed 
and that looks like that horse is going to be okay. You know, seeing those smiles from the first responders for the first time in, you know, hours is something, you know, quite amazing to see and being able to witness. But we're going to turn our attention back to that horse over to the right. And you can see them tending to that horse. And I can tell you just, you know, incredible moments here in Gorman. As we watch, you know, vehicle after vehicle being pulled off the freeway, people hugging each other, strangers, you know, really embracing each other, you know, after, you know, all of them going to look back on this day and say, you know what, I was there for the Gorman incident and it was exactly what they said. Almost 50 vehicles colliding into each other in deep, dense fog. So you're feeling yourself crashing into, you know, other vehicles, but not being able to really see it coming. And, you know, scary moments for these people uh, and scary moments for the first responders who got here first, hearing that the nearest units were 30 to 45 minutes away. You know, a very desolate area in between two very, very small towns. But we're hearing the number of patients dwindling, the situation being cleaned up, these vehicles being towed out of here, and that horse you see on your screen, free. And on that note, that's gonna do it for us here, reporting live at the Gorman incident, just between Kern County Line and Gorman, reporting live here near Interstate 5 southbound. This is Austin Dave.